morning all. We're out on uh, day seven's adventure. Um, I'm heading back up to the volleyball courts. I just want to give them a quick whiz over, uh, particularly around the edge, because there was a lot of coins up this left-hand side, and I want to see if there's any more. So anyway, let me get up and we'll give it a go. But yeah, lovely morning again. Just off the back edge of the volleyball court, Got a nice signal here in the scoop. <laughs> Let me know, silver foil. Right, on we go. Well, I just had my first coin, 10 euro cent. I did get that over on the volleyball courts, but I've had to move. I seem to be attracting a bit too many watchers. People putting towels out. I just didn't feel right, so I moved off a bit. But anyway, I'm going to go up in here today and we'll have a look what's in this section of sun loungers. Well, I'm not exactly sure, even with the tide out, that you'd want to go swimming in that. Look at that. Well, I'm sure some idiots would. So we'll have a quick go on the wet sand while I'm here, but I'm not holding up much hope of finding stuff. All these um, little marks you can see are like little um, crabs living on the beach. So I wouldn't, wouldn't want to dig down in there because I'll disturb their homes. But I'll go up and down a little bit. I'm just going into the safe swimming bit now, allegedly. But I wouldn't go swimming in there, not with that last minute wave. They were saying one bloke uh, came to try and get out of the water, one of those waves got him, slammed him down against the uh, beach, knocked him unconscious, so, yeah, but, to be honest with you, I don't go swimming in the sea, I'll stick in the pool, uh, but some people like it, so, anyway, yeah, there's a sign of, uh, like, sand castles or something here, so someone's been here, so you always look on the beach for signs of life, we can have a little metal detect round there. So obviously the people have been here. I'd love to do one of my famous spirals on here we found something but highly unlikely. No, right I'm gonna head back just a bit down this slope. We put the CS4 ZX on turbo and uh, I'm gonna head back into the sun down just but you know to be out in the morning like this on a beach like this is just fantastic. Um, obviously I've got my beaches at home but they're nothing like this. This is just amazing. So anyway, enough of my yapping, let me shut down the camera. I'll get on and I'll probably see you back in the sun lounges. Well, just by these two sun lounges here, I was just going round them. I took a scoop out of there because I've got a signal. And there's something in here. Yeah. What do we think it's going to be? Oh, are you joking me? Mr. Beach strikes again. Nice. And that's 925. I can see the ball mark on it. <laughs> Mr. Beach. Right. Lovely. I wasn't expecting that. Well, I 
Wild Bee Jigs. That is impressive. Right, so I think this top stuff could be the way to go. Just like being at home, I can't often find bits like that laying on the beach. Right, anyway, I'm going to do um, these sun loungers for a bit. I've got something showing as iron here, but I'm going to have a dig. Just to... Yeah, it is iron. It's like a piece of wire. I can see it, but it's really deep. Never going to get that out. Right, so in theory I've got a whole new section of beach to do here and run along. But I won't be doing it today. I'll do a tiny bit and then we'll hit this lip tomorrow, big time. You know, look, people just leave their masks everywhere, you know. I like to see what their homes are like if they do this to a nice beach. Right, I've got to turn the camera off as people come in. Hold on. fishing weight. Right, I've got another almost good signal here. Let's have a look what we got. <laughs> For God's sake. Some sort of beach popper. Now what? On we go. Well, I've given the 4ZX a bit of time to get a tan it's been so overworked but uh, yeah I think that's about it for today slim pickings but good pickings we've got the euro that and that it's definitely got 925 stamped on the side of it I'll get a bit of picture up on that but that's nice but what we have learned is we need to run along that top front and then we should in theory be able to get a few more targets but uh, Right, it's 25 past 7, so I'm going to head back for my traditional breakfast. I still haven't got you any film of my breakfast yet. I'll have to film in the uh, cafe. Maybe I'll try and do that this morning for you. Right, anyway, hope you're enjoying the hunt so far. I'm off, and uh, catch you in a bit. Oh, one thing I wanted to add, actually. The, um, the beach scoop that I made is working really well. Last time when I went to Mexico, you remember, I think it was the cabin pressure in the hold. It undid all my things. So I brought a little spanner today, uh, sorry, this time with me to tighten them up. And uh, I haven't needed it. And it is absolutely rock solid. It's great because obviously I don't have to bend down. I just scoop and I'm away. And a uh, nice little small mesh on the back. Right, that's it for me. Catch you later. Right, I've got to, um, I've got to show you this. Um, 
because <laughs> this is the hotel room, right? And then you get to this rather ornate little box on the wall. And then you open it up. And I've got four bottles on optics in the hotel room. And drinks are replaced every two days. So if you had a bit of a drink issue, you could knock yourself out on these in your room and they'll replace your all four bottles every two days and it's all included in the price. And this is actually called the mini bar. Um, yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. But obviously with my tea, unfortunately, no. Ah, but if you go into the bathroom area, they do cater for Mr. Beach. There's a kettle. And over here, we have a selection of, well, I think you call it tea. It's salon tea. And then you've got cappuccinos, mint tea. Won't touch that bit of barge pole, herbal infusion. Yuck. Strawberry tea. That's not tea. And then you've got your cups and, and your water. And then down below here, if I can get into it. And you've got your soft drinks area, so you've got enough waters, you've got, they love their beer here. Aquatonic spirit water, I'm assuming, I don't know what that is. No, no ideas. <laughs> we don't have, they don't have Stella, they have Strella. Okay, then you've got Sprites, Fantas, Cokes, and again, help yourself to those as many as you want. So... This is like all-inclusive 24 hour, and I've never stayed anywhere like that before. Normally, all-inclusive runs out, but this is just whatever you want, when you want. I mean, great. I'll say, I'd never heard of Cape Verde. Really good. We've got a little balcony area out here. Gets the sun. The beach. The beach is down there. We're sort of on the side. Uh, but you can see the water through the fence there. But, oh Jesus, I'm going back in. That is really hot. So yeah, just a little quick tour for you. So if you're thinking of coming to Cape Verde, you'll probably be at the Rio Torag, which is where we are, because uh, there's not that many hotels on the island. I think there's two of these and that's it. But yeah, optics in your room, whatever next. <laughs>